What up, you two? It's your boy Darius. I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me, and I really appreciate that. So, what we're about to do, we're about to react to Nick Natoli, This Is America, official, official lyric video. Sorry about that, y'all. So, um, after uh, after I reacted to the new America by Nick Natoli, um, uh, I had several people, um, uh, from Change uh, Razor, uh, for Change Razor, yeah, I'll start for if I mispronounce your name. Uh, that recommended this video to me. Um, who else recommended this video? Show the Chief James. They, 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 like, and, um, Faree Ab Albany. Ab I, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. I, I really do. Um, you know, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to make this, uh, I don't want to make this perfectly clear. I am not a conservative. I'm, I have no interest of being a conservative. I'm definitely, I'm damn sure not a Trump supporter. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have more liberal, um, like more liberal, uh, more progressive rappers, you know, like guys want me to react to, let me know. I have no, I have no problem with Nick Natoli personally. You know, like he is, he is free, he is free to, uh, he is free to support whoever he wants. You know what I'm saying? But I want to thank each and every single one of you guys, you know, who recommended this video to me, and I don't want to let you guys down. So here we are. So let's do this. Whoa, music for Snoop Dogg, so that's dope. Look, why, 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 why? Huh. Why are you here? If there's no left in my country, you're not even from here. You won't even rap all the colors. You won't just accept us as brothers. Why are you? Um, I wonder who you talk about. You talk about the immigrants, you know, like because if you talk about people like you know black people like me, you know, like you know, we like we we're forced to be here since sixteen. Uh, like sixteen, nineteen, you know what I'm saying, and you know it's just as much of our country as, as much of our country as anyone else. And any, uh, but if you talk about the immigrants, and it's funny that um, ain't funny that you know we always put the notion that we're the best country in the world, we're this and that, and uh, and as soon as the immigrants um um migrate to here, it's a it's like all oh, these people they destroyed the fabric of America, blah blah blah. Even though. Like, uh, why, why are you here today, you know, like, may, like, may, like maybe because, um, may, maybe they want to escape from, um, want to escape from, um, poverty, or they want to escape from, like, from what, whatever was going on there back home. It's the same with the immigration in the 1880s to the 1920s, you know, like, where a lot of that Italians, um, Irish, you know, a lot of Europeans, um, were escaped, were escaping, um, from, like, from the Europeans, you know, whatever going on from, uh, over there, and they come, they come to America for a new and better life, you know what I'm saying, and it should, it should because, um, it should because we criticize America, that, that does not mean we don't love America, but let me be quiet, I want to listen to a tire song. Stirring the pot, why don't you leave, this is America, like it or not, we don't need this, we don't need you, look at the guns that we got. Look at the wars that we fought, look at the plan and the plot, look at the phases that's carved in the rocks, rocks, look at the inside jobs, yeah, hmm. you don't notice who you fucking with, bombs away, now you fucking lit, everybody know we running shit, liberals talking on some funny shit, first, it's like, it's just crazy how that, it's just crazy, like, you know, we, we put more emphasis on wars and everything than, than we do on education, on infrastructure, on healthcare. All, all, all the things that really matter. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, like, yeah, we may not, we may be last place in education. We may be doing worse in healthcare. Uh, we, like, we, we don't even, we can't even update our, our Amtrak. But look, look, but look, we, like, we, um, we are strong in military power. Yeah, yeah, America. Make out the leader. Why is there freedom of speech yet? Somebody tell me the. First Amendment, First Amendment has not been deleted. It has not. I don't want to keep pausing every every now and then. I, I'm sorry if I do that, but it's like the First Amendment. Nobody deleting First Amendment. Nobody really being censored or anything. It's just you know, it's just you know, like you just gotta be careful what you say. You're like you're free to say you're free to say things that you want to say, but like but like freedom come responsibility, and, and, and um you're you're free to say whatever you want to say, but you're not free of the consequences. So like so if I go around and, and I call I call. Uh, homosexual, the F word, you know, the F word around my back, you know, like, I, I would get canceled, and, right, and rightfully so, because, uh, because I prefer, I prefer the community, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you know, I don't know why people just can't, uh, get that to their mind. This is the message that all of us needed, look at the statue tearing up, why do you hate on America? The statue they're tearing up is not like, um, it's it the confederate, um, the confederate statue. 
They're not te like, uh, were, man were manly the Confederate test you. It it's funny, like, the Confederacy, you know, they were traitors to the America. Like, how do you hold a whole America, a Confederate flag uh, at football or NASCAR or the, and deep people were traitors? They, they nearly, they, ne they nearly seceded from, uh, from America in 1860 to start the Civil War. Well, why, why is Confederacy, Confederate flag, America, but kneel, but kneeling, uh, but taking a knee, um, it's not. You know what I'm saying? I'll take, I'll think taking a knee is more American because, like, because, you know, like, like I say, Kaepernick, uh, Colin Kaepernick, um, he was originally was just sitting down. And, uh, and after discussing, uh, with a federal, with a veteran, he, like, he didn't say, I respect, I respect for the federal to take a knee. And, and he, like, if, if people like Colin Kaepernick did not like did not respect the Confederates anything, he would not take a knee. To me, raving the Confederate flag is more disrespectful than uh, they taking a knee because because you waving the flag of, of traitors. Like like you guys would not like it if we wave the flag of Al Qaeda or fucking Benedict Arnold or something. Uh, or you know, or you know, like who, like who, the, who else? Did, or like Nazi flag? Actually, no. Like let's scratch, got the Nazi thing because I forgot because, because it's strange because a lot, the, a lot of say people, not everyone, but a lot of say people wear the Confederate flag, also wear the Nazi flag. Ain't that, ain't that something? I, like I digress. You're not even American. Why do I think you don't care enough? Why is the president always offended? Well, we got some questions about how this is going and where this is headed. I think are, are you talking about Trump or Biden? Because. Like because like I say, I'm not offended Biden because uh, but uh, I I don't think Biden is that much of offensive. Um, I think he's more offended by uh, by progressive people than he is by conservatives. Because a lot because like I say, a lot of policy of Biden has it, it it closer to the right wingers than like that like that it is uh than it is to the progressive to the liberals. You know what I'm saying? Like you know like matter of fact, where where is Kamala Harris? My Kamala Harris um like she she went out like with this whole pro black thing. She went to AP. HBCU, which she did, you know, to talk about how she lived to two, two part while she was in college, which I thought, which I think is BS, and and she did all that like black girl magic, all that. Now that she's the uh, vice president, we haven't heard much from her. You know what I'm saying? So Biden, so people like Biden and them, they do closer to um right wing, especially come on, they do closer to the like the right wing policy than they do to the progressive. So so Biden is more offend, offended by the progressive than he is to the right wing. Feels like a war against the percentage, but they got the money, so they got the leverage. But we got the people, don't ever forget it. And we got a movement that starts with a letter. Why I'll say this though, yeah, he has a nine bad rapper. I just turned off the beat is not a beat, is dope actually. Like I can see the S. Why are you down on one knee? Because of a feeling you had. It. Here's that. Like just like I said, I did mention this earlier. Uh, why, why down one knee? Because like because uh, two reasons, two reasons actually. Yeah, you know, I already mentioned the first reason when I said Kaepernick had respect for the veterans. You know, like he took like uh, like when they discussed when he, when him and the veteran discussed um, what it means uh, for the veteran, he did like Kaepernick were like, okay, you know, like, I'm I'm waiting for the compromise, and he took a knee. But but why would Kaepernick sit it down? Why were he taking a knee in the first place? Because like because he's not happy with what what the, what the American judicial system that was going on. You know, like especially when uh, when our uh, armed African American were getting killed. Over like over BS, you know, I, you, you know what I'm saying. And police officer keep getting away, keep keep getting away with it. You know, like he's not happy that that you know, like I don't want to put words in him out, but you know, like but if it was me. I'm not really happy that you know, like that that we're not getting the best education, we're not getting the best health care. It, it, it's that we we're just simply blind. You know what, like what there it is to be be a proud American nowadays. And like 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 I said, you could, uh, but um, but you know what. Like I said, you can still be a proud American, and you can still call up all the BS of that American to do it. You can, like, you can do that. As a matter of fact, you, you're doing it right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, but he say I get the NFL sucks. And it does suck. My Seahawks. That's my Seahawks definitely sucks. We drew the five. I bet they need a quarterback. I bet when you throw it, you're strapped. I bet you get killed by the hat. They throwing grenades. I just hope you could catch. But that's anyone, though. That's, any, that's anyone, though. Like, uh, people, like, you know, like, with soldiers... Like you could you could throw a grenade at somebody, you know, and, and chances are, you know, like even even the best, even the best military man, even the even the sergeant, and everything could get killed. You know, no no man is is immune. You know, you know what I'm saying? The country I've been hateful for now. Man. What do you say? Why are we talking about race? We've been talking about see see. 
I think people now are more afraid to talk about race because we're race baiting. We're digging that. <laughs> See, people don't want, even now, people don't want to talk, want to talk about critical race theory. Why? Because it's like, oh, you know, like, it's racist. It's not racist, you know, like, you should get it, like, you should get to know, like, what's going on with, with African Americans, with, uh, with a with a with a Chinese immigrant, with a uh, with a with a Hispanic community, what what they have what they have gone through, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Maybe if we learn more about American American history past, that um that that we that we can able to prevent what's going on. Look, I just like I just find out about Bruce Beach, which is uh, which is Man which is Manhattan now known as Manhattan Beach. Now I didn't I didn't know that. Now I've been I'm living here in L. A. for thirty three years. Feeling late now. I mean, you can't say it. You, you can say, it. yeah, every right to say it. I'm not, I'm not saying. Under God, but we put America first. China trying to take over. Yeah, I hate for your bubble to burst. I put my China. I think China have already taken. They already taken over corporations. So they already taken over corporation. We put, we put all the corporation. Uh, like you know, we like we take all the we take all the corporation we put over there to China. You know what I'm saying? You know all the Nikes, all the um. You know all the shoes company, but it's funny that people want now want to get mad at Nike now. Now that LeBron James is saying something, now that um, Colin Kaepernick say something, but about all the other time they they didn't care about the about the young um, young um, Chinese kid uh, make making these Nike until somebody LeBron had have said something. Boy or girl, welcome to the new world. Like welcome to the new world, yeah. This is not bad. Like I said, this, Nick is not a bad rapper at all. This is actually pretty nice. This is good. I honestly say this was a good song. I just disagree with a lot of things he said. You know what I'm saying? Don't like you know, and don't and don't take what I say personally. You know, like this is like like I have nothing against Nick or anything. You know, he he has every right to say it. I like you know, this is First Amendment. He has every right to say it. Just like I have every right to react to it, and I have every right to disagree with him. You know what I'm saying? But um, but as far as the music go, it actually not bad. The beat the beat was pretty nice. You know he flow and he flow was pretty it was pretty dope. I just disagree with the politics. But that's just me and me and, and that's just me and me myself uh, alone. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, what do you guys think of this video? Let me know. Comment down below. Leave a like and subscribe to your boy. Yeah, if you have any other video that you want me to react to, let me um uh, also let me know. Um, uh, you can check out my previous sub uh, Nick Natoli video down here. Peace, love, and rock and roll.